casino tonight. Yeah, and we're gonna be continuing to see some excellent sets moving forward. We are in winners' quarters already of the bracket with my one, my girlfriend before Thursday, if you know what I'm saying. Um, with that said, though, we do have some excellent players coming up. Um, already Pillow vs. Uh, Vivi coming up now. Um, and we are going to be seeing Battle of Sorties once again for Pillow. This time around, though, we are going to be seeing Hero versus Lucina. Yeah, Vivi opting for the Hero pick over the Lucario, which I do think I agree with. I feel like Lucina is a character who can really bully Lucario. Mm -hmm. Uh, can really get past a lot of that awkward pressure that Vivi is able to throw out. Yeah. And I feel like Hero is just Vivi's better neutral character. Yeah, you can compete with more here. However, though, disadvantage wise. Oh, no. Like, you didn't know he didn't have a whole lot of mana. I think we were, we were looking for Zoom. Um, however, Vivi responding in kind right now uh, with a start of a less trap of his own. It's still a lot of coming active. It's so big. Okay. Just opting to maintain the Ludge Trap instead of forcing anything off stage. Yeah, and you don't, you really never want to, like, force, or you don't want to force off. Oh, okay, you might just die to a You gotta hit. be careful. You cannot shield anything, and you just can't yeah. even get hit by a dash the, attack. Yeah, the funny thing is, that breaks shield. Like, oh, from yeah, full. absolutely. Like, you, you, your shield exploded from that. Okay, ooh, looking for the roll in there. Vivi does not bite. Uh, both players back to even this game. A, a great conversion right there for Vivi to take that stock off. And now we are in a position where both players, um, you know, just back to neutral. Yep, looking pretty even. Vivi trying to back off just a little bit, maybe get a little, little something, something out of the, out of the menu. But Pillow keeping on the, the, the pressure right now, just wants to keep right in that nice Lucina sword range. Yeah, and Pillow has been so good at the ledge, just maintaining position against first hit. That sizzle so, so big, and even the, even the percent stuff as well. Nice utilization of the Beaver versus Vivi goes for that pretty often. Uh, Beaver versus into grab there. Yep, and there we see again, we've talked about it before, uh, Vivi going for the bounce on the character with no projectiles means it's going to be out of the menu. Vivi's going to be getting an accelerottle out of it. Ooh, Tried to get a conversion right there that I, I think would have been the, the stock. Ooh, it's two missed punishes right there for Vivi. Uh, not going to be enough uh, to get stuck in, but catches the landing. An aggressive landing for Pillow is red and caught by Vivi. Yeah, no, you cannot come aggressive on Vivi when they've got the accelerottle. Now, I think... Uh, Oomph on deck. Maybe, maybe getting a little bit more damage, but both buffs are gone now. Okay, and we're back to the ledge. Okay. Yeah, and I love the way that Pillow was angling their shield up there uh, to uh, shield against any aerial options from BB. Okay. Nice utilizing the um, side B in the corner just to force some approaches here. Um, getting a little bit more percent as we go. However, Vivi now has to get back to stage. Does end up doing so. Um, okay, nice mix up there. Utilizing the three hit. Um, difficult for uh, here to get out of that situation. You're so scared of just dying. Um, you don't really mind just taking a mix up. Accelerado is on deck. Well, I love the way that Vivi was actually trying to low profile there with the crouch, but just barely not able to. And Pillow is going to be getting that second stock, but also taking some a lot of projectiles for their trouble. Yeah. Oomph is active. We are going to be seeing that absolutely come into play. Uh, could possibly be a benefit here, though, for That's Pillow. So much damage. Yeah, and nearly took the stock as well. A position where Pillow now has to land that up you're seeing Vivi go for, but a nice mix up right here from last time by comparison. Pillow just air dodging to the platform. Yep. Oh, you're, All right, you're deck up, bro. I went for the F throw instead. I, yeah, I feel like up throw was like definitely a stock, right? I'm pretty I'm sure. sure. I mean, Vivi knows hero better than me, but that looked like it up throw would have. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, we're going for big swings right now, and it might have cost Vivi his stock. We've seen the ledge trap so, so good from Pillow. Ends up maintaining that positioning. Nearly gets stuck off with a down air. And not a lot of mana for Vivi. Up no way. A little footsie? No way. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never yeah, seen a yeah, kill yeah, like kiki, that. Little kiki guy? Little, little Man's foot. got them little booties. Little, little, little booty kikis. <laughs> a little booty, booty, booty kick. <laughs> um, kind of a big, uh, big stock for Vivi. Was definitely in a position to die there. This is so funny. Yeah, after the, uh, the psych up F throw. Why did that hit? Yo, baby, <laughs> you got hit by the crotch box. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Crotch box. Yeah. <laughs> crotch. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, and that's the stock. 
Uh, Vivi taking game number one after, you know, the, the hatchet man was definitely a, a little bit of a misplay there. Um, Pillow took full advantage, but had never out. Again, again, similar start to game number one, but we're seeing a strong uh, start to advantage state by Pillow. Quick 51%. And we're seeing Vivi trying to get some space of their own. I do like the, the feints with the, the fire charge, though. Oh, gosh. Sizzle. All it takes to get back to even. Yeah, that's like and a full 30%. Ooh. Oh, you're done. Oh, oh, Woodford again! To to the same setup. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're getting at that point offs. where nearly anything will kill. Vivi's certainly looking for a solid Alba's position. F throw there. Going for the F throw there. I think Vivi still had Psych Up and Oomph. Yeah. Oh no, such an early stock for Pillow. Okay, it's like I'm active once again, so I'll active as well. You died. I love That's a that combo, version. baby! <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Just those full stage projectiles when you have a Celeratal active can absolutely be a true combo mm -hmm. um, into those fairs. Nice spacing there yeah. by Vivi, just outside of the uh, shield grab range. Okay, nice. He's loving that single jab. Here's jabs are actually pretty safe. I think they're only like minus 12 or something. Mm -hmm. um, so able to do this nice mix of Sun Shield. Now, Vivi trying to get back down to stage. We've seen that Pillow's juggle game is so good. Okay. And Nair 1 putting Vivi on the platform. We're back gonna be to getting stage. another zoom. Pillow just barely had the uh, the spacing there, but just almost. Yeah, ooh, okay, Vivi, again, we've mentioned before, so good at reacting to neutral get up. Now we're gonna really like to get away with that. Roll does end up getting uh, Pillow out of the corner. However, still not in a completely safe position just yet. We are a hero. We are gonna be like, be able to get at least one buff going here. Ooh, Down but the pressure's so good from Pillow thus far. Absolutely. Okay, buff. Yup, there it is. Ooh, on the roll in. F tilt, not enough though. No, not without any buffs. Yeah. Getting a little bit of a heal, and the Accelerado uh, forward air going to be taking at Pillow's second stock. Ooh, okay, not not at the range where that would have comboed. And now Vivi going for some low profi profiles too, as Pillow coming in with some aerials. Okay. Okay. Just get. Oh, I like I the idea. I, I like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that for sure. Okay. Nice, but a great reaction by uh, Pillow on the ledge jump jump. Uh, gonna get a quick up out of that. Okay, on the jump in. Yeah, and Vivi just chilling under the Pokemon Stadium 2 platform while Pillow's trying to threaten with buttons. Yeah, you cannot land on this character, especially when there's a platform above. A uh, super tough to get the ground versus character. Nice utilization there of the uh, neutral B. And Vivi's been making great use of the Pokemon Stadium. Team. Oh, what a Yo, we got mixed. That was like 80%. Wow, so good coming out from Pillow. And that gets him all the way back into this game. Zoom back to stage. Okay. Almost got it. Oh. Pillow had the idea, but just barely missed the timing. Yeah, not sure that would have been death just yet, but absolutely putting Vivi to it. No. No, no, no. Celerado with you know, a little bit of extra, you know, not bad. But. Okay, we're back to stage. Accelerado coming in clutch. Ooh, looking, looking for, for that landing. Mm. Ooh, no, we're getting out of that one as well. Back throw. Not a lot of uh, MP for VV right you now. Can't neutral get up versus this man. You cannot lose or get up versus this man. Vivi was ready with the frame one fist bump. Yeah, it was like I'm before <laughs> before the camera like, was even on. Like, oh, you neutral get up, GG. That's <laughs> it. Don't. Neutral get up versus it. this man. He is a bad man. man. He's, gonna hit, he's gonna <laughs> hit you. Look at it. He's like, ah, this is mine. GG's. Oh. <laughs> ah, well done. You know what, though? Considering it was a messy fist bump handshake moment, it was a clean handshake. Well done. It was. Well done to both players. Was I, will, I will acknowledge graceful. that. Excellently done. Also, before I didn't mention this, Reggie, thanks for the sub. You cannot commentate, though. Come on Saturday, though, Reggie. <laughs> come commentate on Saturday. Yes. Yes, yes Reggie, come commentate hey, on Saturday. Saturday. Yes. What's on Saturday? Xeno Saga, Extra Large 2, Electric Boogaloo. Um, Saturday, <laughs> June 11th. <laughs> God damn it.